What's going on, everybody? What just happened today in the stock market? Absolutely nuts. The Dow up over 2.8%, NASDAQ up over 3 and the S&P just shy of a 3% gain on the day. Green pretty much across the board, very little red. Actually, 78.8% .8 of stocks advancing today and only 17% declining. What a wild day. Let's dive into everything. So, Today was the day the Fed came out and raised rates. They raised rates by a half a percentage point, which was expected, the biggest hike in two decades to fight inflation. Now, with this said, a lot of other things also mentioned. The central bank outlined a program to eventually reduce its bond holdings by $95 billion a month. And one of the biggest points was Jerome Powell underlined the commitment to bring down inflation. But Raising rates by 75 basis points at this time is not something the committee is actively considering. So as we speak right now, there will not be a 75 basis point hike in a future meeting. That is what you need to know. And it looks like that clarity is what the market loved. The market loved that clarity. Okay. So now our eyes are on the CPI reports and are, are on to inflation. If inflation starts to come down and slow down, that will be a great thing for the stock market, at least one may think. So let's take a look at where we are setting up. Here is the S&P. Here's SPY. Let's take a look at this, and we'll talk about some areas to watch. We'll also look at the QQQs. We'll look at IWM. Then we'll get you guys out of here and on your way. So look at this. SPY hit a new low on Monday. And just like that, from 405, we close the day here at 429. Nuts. Right up against an area of resistance from last week. That was up here towards the same exact spot. When SPY can get back over that level, the next area of resistance to watch will be up here towards 435 and up towards 437. 50 SMA at 435 and also lines up with a prior area of support that SPY broke down below just a couple weeks ago. Beyond that, 450 is our next key area of resistance, okay? That SPY, let's look at QQQ. Tech stocks here are approaching or right up against the exact same spot that they topped out last week, but we need to break over that and a move up into that 335 to 337 area. That would line up with those lows from a couple weeks prior to that. 50 SMA here is sitting at 341. Uh, beyond that, some resistance up here towards 348, 350, and then up here towards 360 could be the next target gap fill to watch on the QQQs. Okay, bats are watching there. Lows here were made at 309. Ideally, you want to see QQQ holding up over 315 if these lows are in. If not, that 309 can get tested uh, again going forward. IWM, small caps. What do we got? Small caps right up in line with where we had areas of support over the past couple of months. So over this 195, then you're looking up into this 50 SMA here at around 199. And then some more substantial resistance up here towards 205 and then 210 on IWM. That's an update for you guys. Let us know your thoughts right now on the current market conditions, what you think going into the next couple of days, couple of weeks. Do you see more upside or are we headed right back down? Is it a bear market rally? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We'll leave a link to a webinar covering three awesome trading signals to add to your arsenal. Check it out. It's for free. We'll see you guys in a future video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Peace out.